Well, everybody, the 2017 Forest Festival Paul Bunyan Parade is just getting ready to start down Railroad Avenue. Want to bring in my broadcast partner for the parade, Dale Hubbard. Hey, Dale. Hi, Jeff. How are you? I love a parade. I love Forest Festival. We've got a little over 80 entries for today's parade, so it's going to be a really good one. Good parade and a big crowd. Big crowd already. You'll be able to see a lot of it here on uh, ifiber1newsradio.com, also streaming on our Facebook page here. You'll be able to check it out later. Right. What's your favorite part of Forest Festival? My favorite part of Forest Festival has to be this part right here, the parade. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoy the parade every year so much. And then there's a lot of things all day today and tomorrow, too. And mm -hmm. By the way, you can get, still get uh, duck tickets yeah. for the duck race for tomorrow. They're selling them all over the place today. And a and, uh, little, little breezy, little cool today. Yeah, it's a perfect weather. Remember but last year? Too it was dang near 100 as That's we got right. things ready to go. That's right. Well, it looks like we've got some of the uh, American flags, the uh, start of the parade coming on down, so we'll get ready to do the PA address here with the Forest Festival Parade here in Chowntown Shelter. 73rd Forest Festival. Enjoy. All right, Sean, move it. So are you guys the official check-in place for the parade? Or? No. Well, everybody, welcome to a great yeah, afternoon a here for a big parade as we get things underway. I'm Jeff Slakey along with Dale Hubbard here doing the PA address. Yes, indeed. We are ready for our 73rd Forest Festival. Starting things out here with the Shelton Police Department. We got a lot yeah, of Yeah, we have our uh, chief of police in Shelton, Chief Police Darren Moody. Where'd he go? No, they're down there. Oh, they're, they're down there walking. They're hoofing it. Good job. Here comes the uh, ROTC with the color guard and the American flag and the Washington flag. And another flag. Again, the ROTC Color Guard, yeah. everybody. Now, ah, here comes our law enforcement, folks. Chief Moody from the Shelton Police. Sheriff Salisbury, Mason County Sheriff. Chief Vukic and Chief Eller from the Squawks and Police. I think Chief Vukic isn't able to make it today from the Skokomish Police. All right. Thank you so much for the service that you guys put forth. American Legion. Fred Weivel, Post 31, Mason County, VFW, Post 1694, and the Auxiliary Unit of 1694. The American Legion, Fred B. Weivel, Post 31, formed at the Hotel Shelton here on Railroad back in November of 1919. Ooh. Mason County, VFW Post 1694, came about in 1929. Both veterans organizations congressionally charted. Here's the Department of Washington's American Legion Band. Yes, sir, Jeff, a volunteer organization since 1925. This uh, band does concerts throughout the Northwest. The director is Kevin Robertson. Mr. Dale Ryan is the drum major in the band. Rehearses at St. Martin's, and new members are always welcome. 48 veterans, sons of the American Legion, and the La Femmes Ladies Guild and Scout Troop, Jeff. Yeah, please welcome and show your appreciation for the 48 veterans and the sons of the American Legion, the ladies of La Femmes of the 48 join together to aid and assist the veterans and their families. 40 at 8 has provided nurses training and scholarships to local recipients for decades. And along with them, we see Scout Troop 110, sponsored by the Sons of the American Legion Club and supported by numerous fundraising activities through the year at the 40 at 8 Veterans Club. After Troop 110 here, coming down the Pike Dale, we have in addition, the Shelton NJROTC. Yes, indeed. It is the Shelton Climber Company, 108 cadets, and members of the Northwest Drill and Rifle League. Yeah! Hey, Bill. Shelton High School's NJROTC.
Coming down railroad, Jeff, is Grand Marshal Norm Eveleth. Oh, yeah, Lou, doing some burnouts here on railroad. Yeah. Norm, a fourth-generation Shelton resident, born here in 1932. Uh, other than just a little bit of time in the military college and some years in Oregon, been in Shelton all his life. Grew up in a Thank farming you, Norm. family. Thanks for coming out. Buddy. Thanks, Norm. Grand Marshal for the 2017 parade. Went to Lincoln grade school and Irene S. Reed High School, graduating with a class of 1950. Dale, here comes one of the Shelton City Commissioners. It's Kathy McDowell. Commissioner of Finance for the City of Shelton. Kathy's being driven by the City's Director of Finance, Nola Von Nudig. And the Central Mason Fire and EMS, Jeff. Yeah, before that also, though, we have Tracy Moore, Commissioner oh, of Public Works, Tracy. on this big rig here. On the City Works oh. big truck here. Another big dump truck for the City of Shelton. Making Shelton a desirable city in which to live, visit, and do business. All right, now here's Central Mason Fire and EMS. All right, Central Masons. This is their 1992 Pierce Dash Quint Fire Truck. It's kept downtown at the Shelton Fire Station and is available for response anywhere in Mason County or the surrounding areas. And there's Sparky S along all dressed up. Sparky's the, here. Hey, Sparky. Wait. Whoa. Wait. All right, here is the uh, royalty court for the Mason County Forest Festival. Rosa Castro is queen of the forest this year, currently a senior at Shelton High School, very involved in the community. Also, Hannah Salapka, Princess of Douglas Fir. Jessica Schreiber is a Princess of Hemlock, Spen a junior at Shelton High. Spencer Burris, the 2017 Timber the Axeman. And Aaron Ursley, the Princess of Cedar, a senior at Shelton High School. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 Mason County Forest Festival Court. And we don't want to forget our Princess of Spruce, too. Brittany Caldwell, also a senior and at Emma Shelton High School. And Emily Parks, the Princess of Pine. Now high above that Mankey Lumber Truck oh. is... Paul Bunyan from North Mason, Nico Ramirez up there, everybody. In the old Mankey lumber truck, carrying Paul Bunyan, a reminder of the fireworks and the logging show just after the parade. Here are some of our former queens and uh, former festival court, forest festival court from years gone by. Anna Lehas, the Queen of the Forest in 2014. Danielle, former Queen of the Forest 2016. Oma, the Queen of the Forest in 1993. And former royalty Shelby Garrick, Queen of the Forest in 2015. Here's the North Mason High School Band, the Bulldog Marching Band and Color Guard under the direction of Mr. Chris Drury. Drum Major Morgan Gleff and Taylor Byerly. The North Mason High School Band.
North Mason proud to be part of today's festivities and likes to thank the parade coordinators and the city of Shelton. Well, Dale, looks like one of the newest rigs from Sierra Pacific making their way down. Yes, sir. Shelton Division, by the way, of Sierra Pacific Industries. And they're very close to opening and excited to join the Shelton community on behalf of the crew at SPI Shelton. Thank you to Shelton. This is loaded from wood produced right here in Shelton, Sierra Pacific, a proud sponsor of the Mason County Forest Festival and excited to continue the legacy of the forest products industry here in Mason County. Here comes a 1940 Chevy Street Rod, Dale. Yes, driven by Wanda Sheets. Well, maybe she's not driving. She might be waving. I think she's waving. I think she's waving. <laughs> Hi, Wanda. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda and Earl. Wanda and okay, Earl. Thanks, go. Earl. Thanks for driving, Earl. Yeah. Attired in their royal blue and white nail, the North Queens Drill Team, a familiar sight throughout the Pacific Northwest and here to Forest Festival. Yes, very proud. They're the Seattle All-City Drill Team champions this year, Jeff. Wow. And they come out of Linwood, Washington, all the way down to Shelton. They've been here several years in a row now. We love having them as part of our parade. They range in age from eight through 20 and practiced year around to perfect their routines. Started back in 1959, one of the oldest drill teams around the area. Very nice. Big round of applause for the North Queens drill team from Linwood, Washington. All right, our Mason County 4-H Youth Development Group out of uh, Washington State University Extension Office, and these are just a few faces of the 4-H Youth Development Program here in Mason County. Young people have pledged their head to clearer thinking, their hearts to greater loyalty, their hands to larger service, and their health to better living for their club, their community, and their world, 4-H. A community of young people learning leadership, citizenship, and life skills partnering with caring adults, everything from robots to rabbits, gardens to goats, horses to health, and sowing to sheep. We are 4-H. And congratulations to the robotics team who made their way down to Houston this year for World Championships. Nice job. PUD number three since 1939. Mason PUD3 has served local residents with clean, renewable, and reliable energy in this super cute mini truck here what a nice one there save a tree go why uh, paperless with PUD <laughs> number three yes indeed you know there's something for everyone Jeff where at why Little Creek Casino Resort sure is eat stay win at Little Creek stay and play our all-in-one luxurious destination right here in Shelton this summer your chance to win this rare 1971 CUDA tribute that was featured on Graveyard Cars. Very nice. Start earning entries July 1st 
For your chance to win, book your getaway to Little Creek today. Adopt a Pet is a nonprofit no kill shelter serving Mason County since 1979. Yes. Devoted to rescuing dogs and placing them in loving homes forever, rescuing over 300 dogs in 2016. And we're pleased to announce another perennial participant in our parade every year from Squim. It's a Squim Irrigation Festival float. This is Washington's longest continuing festival. Queen Carla Najera and her royal court, Princess Abby Norman, Allison Cobb, and Emily Strayling inviting you to join them. What a float this one is. Wow. Very Skies nice. Skies of blue. Very cool. Here are the Washington State Masons, newest past master, worshipful brother William Hunter, in a convertible provided by Thomas Pricecorn. Following them are the Masons of Washington. A Mason is a good man becoming a better man with a belief in God. Here are the Washington State Masons. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, good to see you. Oh, man, everybody. Look what's coming down here. What Who could that be? Who could that be? Wouldn't be the Paul Bunyan Parade without old Paul Bunyan. I would say so. Woo! Paul and Babe the Blue Ox is right behind him. Symbols of Mason County logging heritage followed by the Friends of the Museum. Classic cars. The Mason County Historical Society's mission is to collect, preserve, and publish the history of Mason County. They're pleased to help bring us Paul and Babe down Railroad Avenue. Hey, Vert. Last Sunday in June, we'll all be right here again for the Big Benefit Car Show for the Mason County Historical Society. All right, vintage cars from the yesteryear car club. No, just old cars. Which <laughs> The three percenters. I got it. All right, are you out of gas or just uh, <laughs> What's going getting on your morning here? exercise in? These guys getting their push in. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. There we go. Does steering work when you push like that? That's how you keep the cars at the safe speed are in these parades. <laughs> That's one way to preserve them. Don't ever start them. <laughs> Whoa. Hello. A beautiful old cutlass. Yeah. Well, look at the little dog waving to everybody here. Looks like it's Merrill SS. So I see um, Drew and Dan down in the Edsel. Oh, are they? Yeah. Okay. Or I see Drew at least. Hey, 
think he's planning something for us. Whoa! Is that Santa? No. <laughs> oh! Wow. All right, here's uh, Zoner, the mayor. Oh, yes. Mayor Gary Kronz for the city of Shelton, everybody, in the big 58, 58 Edsel. This thing is very nice. Uh, mayor, the Edsel's obsolete, you know. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes 35th District Representatives Dan Griffey and Drew McEwen. And Drew McEwen, they're hitching a ride in the Buick. Beautiful. Hi, right, fellas. Hey, guys. Thank you. You got to get back to work Monday. <laughs> yeah. Nice skid marks on the newly paved. Once again, the Paul Bunyan Parade here just one of many things all weekend long for Forest Festival. Here's the Olympic Middle School Eagle Band. Uh, welcome Forks, old fashioned 4th of July American Pride float coming down the road. Oh, I see what we got here. Sixth and seventh graders from Olympic Middle School. Nice job, everybody. Here's the folks, Forks yeah. Old Fashioned Fourth of July float. Yeah. Uh, coming up on Fourth of July, American Pride, red, white, and blue, patriotic, and honoring one of our hometown heroes. Thank you, Mason County Forest Festival. And Please welcome the Forks Old Fashioned Fourth of July float. And sitting up there, Dennis Leverage. We know that guy. Hey, Dennis. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Always nice to see Dennis. You didn't move to Forks, did you? Oh, okay, all right. Master Sergeant in the U.S. Army. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know you got, you got family there, right? Yep. A new group around looking to renew some interest in the railway with the Peninsula Railway and Lumberman's Museum, a nonprofit working with Simpson to save the Simpson Roundhouse and railroad tracks that head out to Dayton. Simpson Railway, the longest-running timber-dedicated railway in the United States, Dale. Oh. Well, they're hoping to preserve the Roundhouse and maintain a tourist train and living museum. And this could bring thousands of dollars to local businesses from, in the form of, of course, tourist dollars. The train and museum will also bring a sense of pride to the community focusing on our roots in the timber industry. Please go to the PeninsularRailway.org or like them on Facebook. Colorful Creations Child Care Development Center. They've been serving families in Mason County since 1999 and are endorsed by the Washington State University's Early Achievers Program. They've got a bilingual program and are open seven days a week. Thanks for coming out today, you guys. Very cool. Colorful Creations.
Coming down the pike here, Dale, look at this big rig, the Triple yeah. C Fabricators LLC. Triple C Fabrications Welding and Fabrication Shop. Also do sandblasting, hydraulics, and obviously some custom trucks there and cars. Look yeah. at this guy. I wonder what they could do for my 99 Ranger. I think they make it look just like that. Woo! That's awesome. Very cool. Easy, big fella. Easy. Yeah. All right. Oh, you lucky dog. And then look at this guy coming up behind the back. Uh, more Triple C fabrications. That's a lawnmower right there. Look. That's a beefy lawnmower right there. Look at all this great work that Triple C Fabricators do. Uh, all right. Very nice. Thanks for being a part of the parade. Yeah, thanks for coming out today, you guys. Sixtieth year, Dale. Sixty years for exceptional foresters. Oh man. Yes, EFI. Their mission statement, empowering people with disabilities to maximize their sense of honor, dignity, and self worth in all areas of their lives. Living and working in comfort while attaining their highest level of independence. Exceptional Foresters Incorporated. Looking good, looking good. Thanks for being in the parade. Don't forget to keep waving. There you are. Okay. All right. Beautiful. A uh, big shout out residential services, vocational services. Nice All job. part of EFI. Way to go, EFI. Great organization here. Power to the people. Okay. Is the horn work? Riviera's Shellfish, LLC, where you can find your local fresh farmed oysters and clams, supporting and keeping Mason County green. Very nice. And keeping Mason County's waters clean. Thanks for coming out. Have it on good authority. Right. Have it on good authority, Dale, that they're going to be opening up the uh, A&W location here, the Shellfish Company. So that'll uh, be up very on nice. Big Highway North. So we're looking forward to that. A brand new store reviews. Very cool. Shellfish. Very cool. Since 1934, Hood Canal Communications has been keeping their community connected, providing service, affordable prices of broadband, video, IT services, and more. Forests of the future continuing to rely heavily on the technology. HCC is there to help. Here's just a few of the vehicles from their fleet that you might notice around the county. 
this vintage international, the Freightliner dump truck, and everything in between. It's Hood Canal Communications, everybody. Hey, Mr. Sheets. Hello, Hood Canal. Boom, boom, boom truck. All right, coming down the pike, Jeff, is the Hoquiam Loggers Play Day. This float is a 51 Kenworth truck pulling a 65 Tillman trailer equipped with an 1899 steam donkey. This was used in the early days of logging. There are 2014 court hardworking young ladies who have the honor of riding on and decorating the float. They took second place this year in our Forest Festival Parade. Congratulations. And our court is Sunshine Dick, Alexis Drolls, Josie Emery, Carly Crone, Emily Lash, and Micah Wayman. September 9th, a big day of events. Log truck driving competition, a grand parade, salmon barbecue, a logging show like no other and a big fireworks show too. Hoquiam Loggers Play Day, September 9th. Here comes the Banky Lumber number five, a 72 Peterbilt hauling Monica's Little Monkey's Daycare. <laughs> I like it. Now you got some precious cargo on that truck. Are you little monkeys? The little monkeys daycare. If you were Howard Cassell, you'd be in big trouble. <laughs> As we get election season underway, here is a candidate running for one of the Shelton Commissioner positions. It's Kevin Dorsey. Candidate for Shelton City Commissioner. Thanks for being part of our parade today. Here he is walking down the road, Kevin Dorsey, running for City Commissioner. And coincidentally, Jeff, uh, right behind Kevin is the Uraco Coffee Company. Wow. Voted best coffee in Mason County for four consecutive years. Seventh in Coda. Shelton Uraco has been proudly serving our community with freshly roasted coffee for 14 years. Their own custom coffee blends, small handcrafted batches. Next time you need to stock up on fresh roasted coffee. Stop by Uraco. Or you need specialty espresso, you know where to go. Hey, it's Kitten Rescue of Mason County. Beautiful 48 Pontiac Silver Street. Ralph Oquist, Kitten Rescue, Mason County. Norma Weber and her staff of volunteers been helping place abandoned and unwanted kittens and cats for 18 years. All right, we live for life just around the corner, June 17th. Over at Neyland Park, a new location this year. We'll see you there. That's right. Hey. Hey, Jerry Apple, Vicky Gonzalez, hey, everybody associated with the Shelton Sad Club. Dave Hoga up there. What's up, everybody? All right, Relay for Life. 11 to 11, the new hours for 
Relay for Life this year, new area, Neyland Park for this one. Here comes the Washington Old Time Fiddlers Association. District 5 nonprofit organization, preservation, promotion, and perpetuation of old time hey, fiddle music. Hello. District 5 is Mason, Kitsap, and Pacific counties, and members range in age from 5 to 95. Hey, yeah. Everybody out there hey, playing you. today. Good job, Laura. When it comes to high-speed internet, iFiber communication beats out the competition. 100 megabytes uh, per second, 29.95 a month. No contract, no hassle. There's Jerry Eckenrode driving that right down hey, the road. No distracted road. driving. No distracted yeah, driving. And she's doing a great job. Are they following you? They keep following you. Here's Ryan <laughs> Scholes, everybody, with the iFiber communications. Frozen. 427-4000. Sign up today. Very cool. Hey, Chris. Good to see you, Chris, driving the truck down. Mr. Hooper. Again, 427-4000. Sign up today. The, the posse has gone down a little here. But it's the Grays Harbor Mounted Posse Indoor Pro Rodeo Queen, Shelby Bakerworth. Please welcome her. She's the 2017 Pro Rodeo Queen. Grays Harbor's Mounted Posse Indoor Pro Rodeo, the fourth weekend in March at the Grays Harbor County Fairgrounds in Elma. And let's get a little love for the gentleman carrying the scooper wagon behind. Yeah, boy, One of the yeah, best boy. jobs, the toughest jobs here for a parade. Thank you so much. I don't see Yesteryear Car Club got second place in the automotive division here for Forest Festival Parade, a nonprofit organization, the purpose to enjoy old cars and give back to the community. Well, you're going to see some beautiful old vehicles right now. With a past Paul Bunyan from 67, Art Tozier. Hey, Art, you haven't changed a bit since 67, you know that? <laughs> Except for your mustache is a little longer. boy. All right, good looking Impala. We love it. Beautiful Chevy pickup truck. Got your Dodge Charger. Nice. Is that Mustang Sally riding shotgun? All right. All right. LeBaron. They don't make fins like that anymore, Jeff. No, they sure don't. Look at that beautiful ride. Wow. My gosh. A reminder, nice folks. Nice Bel Air. Yeah. Just after the parade, we've got the logging show over at Loop Field. It's going to start at 1. Uh, free again for you. The, the Steel Western Timber Sports Qualifier is the loggers getting ready to head to championships in Wisconsin this year. And that's at 1. Mighty fine cars, the local yesteryear car club right here in Shelton. Good morning, sir. I like Look. it. Yeah. Walking in the car club here, Mason County Commissioner Kevin Schutte. There Look he is. is. There he is. It's a Schutte sighting. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. How's Thanks. that first year going? Good to see you. a boy. There he is. Stay between the lines, you guys. Oh, wait, we've moved all the lines. Yeah, they're all new lines. What lines? <laughs> a 
air. Sensei style caster. Oh. Well, in addition to the logging show just after the parade at 1, there is a bunch of other events all throughout the weekend for Forest Festival, including the fireworks tonight. Tomorrow, up on Olympic Highway North, you'll be able to see many of these cars as part of the car show that the NJROTC helps put on. In addition to that, we got the Duck Dash in downtown Shelton down Goldsboro Creek. Yes. So you can still find uh, folks walking around selling ducks and just a buck a duck. By the way, we are streaming our coverage of today's parade. You can l get on i5or1newsradio.com and check it out on your mobile device right now, right here. That's right. Thanks. All right, Cub Scout Pack 9112, Boy Scouts of America organization, of course, dedicated to providing fun and purpose for boys. Uh, activities are around good citizenship, good character, respect for nature, future career opportunities, and fitness chartered by Shelton Kiwanis, Pac-112 is currently have scouts from Bordeaux, Evergreen, Mountain View, Pioneer, Hood Canal, Southside, Merriam Knight, and are also homeschooled. In addition to the Cub Scouts, the Boy Scout Troop 9112 going down with them. Uh, Boy Scouts of America chartered by the Christmas Town Kiwanis. And here comes that North Mason 4th and 5th grade marching band again, Jeff. This is their first parade at today's Paul Bunyan Grand Parade. Band members are both from Sand Hill and Belfair Elementaries, and they get up extra early to attend band class before school even starts. Wow. Good, Good job, you, kids. Guys. Good on you, kids. Can't have a parade without some great marching bands. You would know that. Good job. You're not scooping, are you? Oh. <laughs> Jacob Benedict, Agencies for American Family Insurance. Your local American Family Insurance office. They believe there's more to insurance than just the policy themselves. Stop by their offices, Olympic Highway North here in Shelton, and become part of the family. American Family Insurance. All right, founded in 1979 by Sue Bragg. This is the Highlander Drill Team. They've been a drill team for 38 years, teaching the importance of teamwork, responsibility, discipline, and dedication, building confident leaders and creating friendships and learning the value of sportsmanship. The Lake City Western Vigilantes are one of the sponsors, and Salmon Bay Eagle, Airy, and Auxiliary 2141, and the Shoreline Elks, Highlander from Seattle, the Highlander Drill Team. Well, thank you for being here. Everybody a big hand. Big hand for the Highlander Drill Team. Mason County Search and Rescue is an all-volunteer organization providing search and rescue services throughout Mason County. Again, all volunteers. Yeah, Jeff, they volunteer their time and their energy and their vehicles yep. and their skills. Thank you all. 
Find out more at masoncountysar.org. Thank you so much for volunteering your time for search and rescue. This is Queen Elena and Duchess Hannah from the Port Orchard Fathoms of Fun on June 24th, just around the corner in Port Orchard, just up the road. Thanks for coming out today. Thank you. Representatives from the Hoodsport Lions Club now. Wow. Good to hey see there, you. Hey there, Hood How are you? All right. Good to see you. Hoodsport Lions Club, everybody. Candidate for Commissioner of Public Works is Eric Anisco coming down the road now. Hey, Eric, in good the to see you. In the Mustang. That thing loaded to the brim with the fam there. I like it. The Habitat for Humanity block party is coming up Saturday, June 24th at their Shelton store. Habitat for Humanity salutes all the visionaries out there in the forest. You can win yourself a playhouse or shed, whatever you want to make it into. Very cool, very cool. Win this. Raffle tickets are just $5. Thank you so much for Habitat for Humanity. Wild Thing, South Mason's Youth Soccer Club. Hundred percent volunteer organization, the Mason Youth Soccer Club, offering spring, summer, and fall soccer to kids five through eighteen. You can sign up today. Jeff, here comes the friends of Willie and Joe. This is an award-winning living history group, mostly depicting the regular dog-faced infantrymen of World War II, usually as members of Bill Malden's 45th Division, but also various other units of, under the 101st and 82nd Airborne Divisions. Founded in 1994, sanctioned by Bill Malden, the old World War II cartoonist who created Willie and Joe, the long-suffering infantrymen of Stars and Stripes fame. This group is dedicated to preserving the memory of personnel who served in WW2. Thanks for coming out. Here's Love Inc. of Mason County Thank getting you. ready for their annual golf ball drop. You can get a ticket and watch your ball drop from a helicopter at the July Golf Tournament. 462 Love for tickets. All part of Love Inc. Love in the name of Christ for Mason there County. There you go. Hand up, not a hand out to those in need. Are they going to drop you out of the helicopter? No. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, who's that guy riding shotgun with you over there? Hey, hey. Bill? Hey, Bill. How you hey, doing? Good dog, you. <laughs> Capital Lake Fair celebrating 60 years of giving back to the community, so they're putting on the Ritz. Queen Margaret Doyle, Princess Lindy Lyon, Princess Ellie Hirotaka, walking with the floats are 2017 President of Lake Fair Karen Griggs and other Capitalitarians. The third weekend of July, the 12th through the 16th, it's Capital Lake Fair. They're putting on the Ritz. Woo!
And the Capital Lake Fair float won first in the floats division here for the parade today. Congratulations to them. Here comes Bloomfield Bushing, and this is a tribute to Squaxin Island tribal elder Francis Alfred Misty Bloomfield, born on the Skokomish Reservation in 1933, died this past March. Misty was a generational logger harvesting timber throughout the Olympic Peninsula. He started in the woods as soon as he was able to hold a stringer end of a chainsaw, a vintage mall chainsaw with a 12-foot bar and chain was one of his prized possessions. He's accompanied by his family legacy, the future of the forest. Mason General Hospital and Family of Clinics presents Healthcare Heroes of the Future. The float along with the staff from Mason General Hospital and the Family of Clinics. All right, thank you all for coming out today. Mason County's PUD number one, serving Hood Canal for 82 years, the first public utility district in the state. PUD one serves safe, reliable, and valued water and electricity utility services to Mason and South Jefferson counties. PUD one. The Shelton Marching High Climbers have had an outstanding year, winning several awards at competition. Cheryl Sager directed the band here, hoping you enjoy the performance. It's the Shelton High School Marching High Climbers. Fresh off the uh, torch run for Mason County Special Olympics torch run. Yeah. Here comes the Mason County Sheriff's Chief Deputy Ryan Sperling out there in the front of the pack. You're surrounded around. by the canine unit. Very cool canines. There you go. Oh. Thanks for coming out today, Sheriff. Thank you so much. You got the good car. Yeah. Sheriffs, thank you. All right, the Equestrian of Mason County celebrating our 73rd Annual Forest Festival with us. This year, we have the Ladies of the Equestrian of Mason County. Horsewomen organized in 1989 and participating in the Forest Festival since 1991. 60 members strong today. of Western Washington Mason County chapter helping over 140 girls find their inner girl go-getter innovator risk taker leader oh I like that I like that thanks girls
they get that iguana on camera? The Timber Sports athletes are working their way to Wisconsin for championships this year, and you'll be able to see them just over at Loop Field. All right, working their way down Railroad Avenue, Mason Transit Authority. Their vision is driving our community forward. Mason Transit. This is the Miss Mason area pageant. The pageant does community service for Mason County. Sign up for the fifth anniversary on June 24th at the high school theater. $50 to participate, getting rhinestone tiara, t-shirts, and more. Last day to sign up is coming up at the 9th at Roosters. Find out more at MissMasonAreaPageant.com. The Miss Mason area pageant. And the Mr. Mason area prints right there. Well, if you're a fan of Mustangs, Dale, you're in for a treat here. I am, I am, Jeff. It's the Kitsap Mustang Club formed in Bremerton back in 1988. Over 80 active members comprised of active and retired military, family, and friends from the area. Inviting you to Mustangs on the Waterfront July 29th through 30th in Port Orchard. Good looking Stangs. There you go. KitsapMustangClub.org for additional information there. This is one of the last remaining Mustang-only car shows. Again, Mustangs on the waterfront, July 29-30 in Port Orchard. That's an old Mustang. No, it's not. All right, thanks for coming out, you guys. That was those five point oh, yeah. All right. Hawkins Middle School Marching Band, proud to be part of the Grand Parade today. This is Hawkins Middle School's 34th appearance here Woo! at the Forest Festival. All right. Just up Highway 3 in Belfair, band members come from small communities and towns all over northern Mason County like Allen, Belfair, Grapeview, Stretch Island, Tahuya, and more. The 110-member band Hopes you enjoy their performances today. Thank you so much, Hawkins Middle School Marching Band. Drum major, eighth grader John Flanders, and the band is directed by Stan Yantis. To take care of any situation from underground breaks to panel changes they do it all ken and sarah dehart the owners of the electrician inviting you to enter their coloring contest and get a toys r us gift card more information 
or visit them on Facebook or go to their website, TheElectricianLLC.com. The Electrician, Shriners International, provide fun and fellowship to its members. Their 22 children's orthopedic and burn hospitals throughout North America, local clubs throughout Southwest Washington, with social events and fundraisers for their hospitals and for patient transportation. The nearest Shrine hospitals are in Portland and Spokane. To learn more, go to BeAShrinerNow.com. Wow, look at these rides. Whoa! Now, those are just plain fun. I think these guys are having the most fun here today. All right, the Air Force. All right, I like it. All right, the Afifi Shriner. Very beautiful work. Nice job. Beautiful carving. Becco's Tree Service and Wood Carving. Thanks for coming out today. Thank you. They got quite a fleet of vehicles. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you. They sure do. Shelton High School cheer coming down. Yeah. Uh, cheer I always like the cheerleaders. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> cheerleaders led by Captain Kendra Havens. Once again, the Shelton High School cheer squad, everybody. They really needed you guys out here, didn't they? Yeah. Check out this race car, 1992 Subaru Legacy, racing at the Elma Grace Harbor Raceway. Yeah, Grace Harbor Raceway, rocks it. <laughs> Shelton Farmers Market, Saturdays in Shelton from nine to one. Open today unless the theme for their float today the lorax there it's big it's bad it's beautiful it's the mason county fire district 16's 3,000 gallon water tender Bringing smiles to Chiefs all over Mason County. Oh, yeah. Where's the water? With its pump and roll capa capabilities and ability to draft, it can fill itself and fight fires if it needs to. Volunteers at Mason County Fire District 16 take great care of it, and it still has that new car smell. Ooh. In case you were wondering what that smell was. It's new car. Olympic College now providing a variety of programs from GED prep to vocational, technical, and transfer degrees. Student support services 
and Olympic College Shelton has operated in Mason County for nearly 50 years. All right, Olympic College, yes. All right, it's the Jefferson County Rhododendron Festival. Taking a step into Enchanted Forest with her Enchanted Roadie Float, straight out of a fairy tale, take a magical ride with Queen Lauren and her stagecoach. A senior at Chimicum High School, Princess Sarah and Princess Taylor, both juniors at Port Townsend High. The Roadie Festival, yeah. Thanks for coming out today. Boost Mobile, the local Boost Mobile dealer here, located inside the Guatemalan Marketplace, behind the McDonald's strip mall. Affordable pricing, great sales service, it's Boost Mobile. Yeah. All right, Mason County Fire District 11. Jeff would like to remind everyone to ex extinguish their campfires this summer and protect the future of our forests. Thanks for coming out. Here's the Veneer Chip Transport, a 2003 Peterbilt driven by Irv Lofgren with Veneer Chip Transport serving the wood industry. An old peak. And finally, here from the Graham Hay Company, a licensed and bonded freight shipping and trucking company. Graham Hay! Hey! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that'll wrap up our 73rd Forest Festival Paul Bunyan Parade! Please don't forget, you got the logging show at Loop Field at 1 o'clock. Fireworks tonight up at the high school at the Olympic Junior High. And a uh, big car show tomorrow on Olympic Highway North. Uh, don't forget the duck races tomorrow afternoon. And thanks for coming out. Please drive carefully and enjoy your weekend. That's right. Once again, everybody, thank you so much for watching this Forest Festival Parade on iFiber1NewsRadio.com and on our Facebook page. We want to thank the folks who got the parade broadcast out for us, the Roof Doctor, our Community Credit Union, Maple Glen, Peninsula Credit Union, CSM Heating and Cooling, and Taylor Fel Shellfish. Taylor Shellfish, thank you so much as well, iFiber Communications.